Hey brothers and sisters, I wanted to come on here and give a short message. A lot of people want to turn the free grace of God into something that you must earn and maintain. They either will front load the works or they will back load the works. They'll say you're saved by grace through faith, but you must do this. You must be water baptized, you must turn from sin, you must do all these things in order to be saved. But that's not true. Because Paul makes a rebuttal against all these things. So we're going to look at a couple passages talk that talks about that you're just saved by grace through faith alone. So we're, we're going to look at Ephesians 2, 8, 9 first. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, and not of works, lest any man shall boast. So Paul is already declaring that it's by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. There is no other way. It's not, it's not going to be how good you are. It's not going to be by what you do for Christ and how much you obey, how much you've kept the Ten Commandments. You, it's, it's not going to be anything by your own merit that's going to save you. It's a free gift once you come to believe on Christ and Christ alone. It's not going to be... There's no going to be working to heaven either, like some religions have it, where you have to work yourself up. It's not going to be, it's not going to be anything, because no man is going to boast to Christ, and no man is going to be boasting to God Himself, saying that they deserve heaven because of what they have done. No man is going to be doing that. So we're going to look at Romans chapter three, verses 22 through 27. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all, upon all that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come, come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through re the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness that he might be justified and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. So where is boasting then? It is excluded by what? By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Paul makes that so simple in that short passage of Romans chapter 3 verses 22 through 27. There is going to be no obeying, obeying of the deeds of the law that will save you, but by those who believe on Jesus and what he has done for them. And what is the thing that we believe? Paul makes that very very, very simple in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. He declares the gospel by which we are saved. He says that Christ died shedding his precious blood on the cross of Calvary, paying the sin debt once and for all, past, present, and future, that he was buried, and on the third day he rose again for our justification. Once you believe that, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which is the guarantee of our inheritance. There is no works needed to maintain salvation. There's no works to earn salvation. There's going to be no boasting in heaven. That's why Paul says in verse 27 in Romans chapter 3, he says, Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Faith in Jesus Christ alone. There is nothing else needed for salvation. Jesus is all-sufficient. His sacrifice was all-sufficient. His blood was all-sufficient for salvation because you are saved by His grace through faith alone. But brothers and sisters, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Shalom and God bless.